Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is introduction to R programming. So R is a very powerful statistical language. Um, I won't go into the history of it. I'll, or I'll post some links below on the history of R programming, but essentially it's an open source statistical programming language that's freely available online. Uh, you want to type into your search engine R programming, R analytics, both of them will lead you to this website. And the first thing you want to do is define where you're downloading from. So in this case, I live in Toronto, so I'm going to download from the cran.ustat.utoronto.ca. Uh, obviously, pick where you live closest. And then once you click here, you pick whether you want to download from Linux, OS, uh, OS X, Mac, uh, or Windows. So either of them work. And I do use uh, Windows 8, so... Uh, it does work if you're if you're wondering that. Next thing you want to download is R Studio. So R Studio is a really great user interface package that I find makes learning and using R a lot easier. Uh, you can also like pay for support uh, if you do use it for commercial purposes. So let's open up R Studio, and you're probably wondering like why would you use R Studio as opposed to just R just a little bit of an easier interface. It won't really matter for these first couple lessons, uh, but in a few other lessons, it has a few other like neat techniques that I find just makes it really organized. So just uh, a little preview. So you're gonna have your uh, R script up here, your R console, uh, a little, if you have, for example, any help. So I would have searched format, for example. Uh, you have a little environment that will store all the variables, store all the memory, store all the data files. Up here, when you import some data sets, uh, in future lessons we'll get there, uh, I will show you and preview the, the data for you up there. And the script environment's really helpful. Uh, we're not gonna, we're gonna, most of the time you use the script environment, but in this case, we're gonna use it directly in the console just because I find uh, it's a little bit easier and a little bit more intuitive, but you can program things into the script to impact the console. So let's get started. So some pretty basic stuff, like any other programming language, uh, you can define variables. So for example, you can make X equals to five. And then if you type in X, it'll, it'll print it there. So really, really simple. You can also change X. So for example, you can make X uh, equal uh, hi, hi, hello world, hello world, and then it will redefine x. You can also see up here how it stores the values. You can also let's change back x to 5. You can also make y equal to x plus 10, and then you'll see up here. And then if we type, type in y, you'll see that y is equal there. You can also make z equal to y times x. For example, so then you type in Z, uh, you'll see there it equals 75. You can also do other functions, so you can make uh, uh, Y to the power of, of 2, and it will define, so you don't even need to define a variable, you can just type in a calculation there. You can also do like 5 times 5, for example, if, if, you, if you really want to, for whatever reason. You can also make Y to the power of X. Uh, you can also do uh, lawn functions. I believe this is the format. Nope. I right, type log. And this should give you the nat. That should be the natural, natural log. Um, you can also make uh, y in, into a vector. So, for example, the way you would do that is let's go y is equal to c, comma one two three four five, and if we type in y you'll see that it is displayed as a vector. And if you want to know all the variables that are stored in memory up here, so if you didn't want to look up here for whatever reason, you can use this function called ls, and it'll list out all the various variables. So really handy function. You can also do square root. So if I wanted to do that, I just go, obviously you can raise it to the power of half, but let's just straight square root of nine or you can use a variable. If you want to call a previous function, which is which is very common, at least for me, because I oftentimes misspell something. So for example, if I were to say, if I were to do uh, like this, for example, and I, and I didn't want to retype the whole thing, I could just press up, and then it will 
go up and you go up as many times as you want and then go back down to the previous or the next function that you typed in so building off the vector you can also make a vector like a uh, uh, non-numeric so let's say uh we're gonna go let's go gender is equal to c bracket female comma male and then if i were to type in gender there you go uh building off that you can also create a sequence i believe so for example if i didn't know what sequence is so what you can do is put question mark out in front and then it'll pop up here to the right tells you uh, how to do it. So it says here you need to select you need to define your from then to and then by what increment So let's get let's give that shot. So let's go sequence uh, From so why is annoyingly very case sensitive. So one let's just do this uh, uh, example to 10 or to equal 10 by uh, One for example all right, oh, sorry, I have to make equals. Let's make it, uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to press equal to one here. There you go, now you have a sequence. You can also do it by 100 and then increment it by X, for example. Another example of uh, how you can leverage uh, the sequence function, which is actually really handy to you know. You can also use this uh, repeat function so R E uh, R E P so we're gonna go R E P actually let's go R E P here so we need to define what is and how many times it occurs so let's go five occurs five times but you can also do it with uh, strings so you can go king comma five times so really handy and useful to know you can also uh, do a sequence so you can also do for example repeat one to ten two times there you go uh, and you can also force it to repeat a sequence for example so that's it for the first lesson so we covered off how you can define uh, a variable uh, as a numeric as a string uh, use different functions and and uh, use vectors and as well use sequences and repeats and use those in, in combinations both with strings, uh, different sequences. So really, this is a really good start. Uh, let's leave it there. And the next lesson, we'll, we'll cover how to actually import uh, some data.